We are still in COVID-19 lockdown, but restrictions are easing, which means that some of our staff can come in and start preparing the gym for reopening. This has allowed us to thoroughly clean the whole facility and has given us the opportunity to concentrate on resetting most of the gym. One of the walls we've reset is the whole back wall. So we've stripped all of the holds, cleaned the wall by hand, washed all the holds, and we've been putting up new climbs ready for reopening. One of my roles at Northern Rocks is head root setter. That means I manage the root setting team, organise the rostering of when roots or sections have also changed. When we're resetting as a team, I'm there to help guide the process and ensure we're meeting the vision of the gym, our graining system, and what we're trying to achieve with the root setting. One of the best things I learned from root setting overseas is the emphasis on working as a team. There's always a head root setter who will guide and oversee the process, so everyone has the opportunity to critique climbs and offer feedback. Sometimes it's just tweaking a foothold, you know, this much from where it was set originally, and that might be the difference to the move working or not. It's often a lot of discussion around whether a move works or how to change the route to come up with a different solution. We use a colour grading system, just like many other boulder gyms around the world. We have nine colours that you can progress through. Within each colour, there are three different grades or levels of difficulty. So easy for the colour, medium and hard for the colour. And this is to help people transition through the grades or colours. So you can start off with an easy blue, work through to a hard blue, which will help you transition into purple, for example. We're really excited because we've just introduced red as a new colour. So that's going to sit at the hardest end of the colour range. There are a lot of new hold shapes and funky shapes, which we haven't had before. So they've been really interesting to root set with and you should be seeing a lot more red climbs on the wall. Another aspect we consider when root setting is the level of risk for the climber on the wall. So that means assessing any potential hazards or falls if the climber doesn't stick a particular move and then evaluating where and how on the climb we might set a crux or a dynamic movement uh, to help mitigate that risk. Ideally, a route would guide the climber through the movements with the feet and the handholds in the right position so that you can get to the top regardless of how experienced you might be on that climb. With the purple climb we set on the back wall, we're thinking about which moves we want to teach the people who are climbing it. So is it just a ladder, I got to the top? Is it introducing a technique such as a heel hook or diagonal? So we're really thinking about what experience we want the climber to have on the wall and try to make that happen with the route setting. Bouldering has become a fitness alternative for many people. It's very social. There's a mental and a physical aspect to bouldering, which makes it attractive. And more and more people are coming to the boulder gym, not only to meet their fitness needs, but to hang out with their friends. As you can see, the back wall is now completely reset, which is pretty exciting. It looks amazing. Uh, we love all the new shapes. We've reset the whole cafe boulder as well and the back side of the arch. So there's a lot of new climbs for everyone to try. Our team has worked really hard in this period, cleaning, resetting and preparing the gym for reopening. And I speak for all of us in that we're super excited to reopen and we can't wait to see our community back in here trying all the new climbs and hanging out and just catching up.